Hello, this is International Motor Productions in Carrollton, Texas, and this video is on a 2004 Lincoln Aviator. It has about 98,000 miles on it, and uh, you know, it's loaded out package. We're selling it for $79.95 plus tax title and license where it's applicable in Texas. So, let's see what we think. First off, I like to point out just how nice those headlights look. A lot of them don't look that nice. The fog lights, all that. I'm going to show you the best I can here, this little hickey here. And remember, y'all, we're dealing with a 2004 SUV V8 with leather, third row seating, in excellent mechanical condition for $79.95. <laughs> so, Don't be too hard on her. She's something you can drive and be proud of. And not have to hide it in the backyard like I do a couple of my cars. As you can see, some floor mats. Now we don't guarantee that that uh, that uh, entertainment system works at all, and um, we do know that the radio works and all that works. The touchscreen does not work, and the reason we haven't done anything about that is because for about the same price, we could put the same old screen in. Whomever buys it can put an awesome. <laughs> new system in it that has a lot more features and you know apple play or whatever you use android all that good stuff and it'll integrate in with your uh, steering wheel controls but that's how we control this radio is with the steering wheel controls i'll show you so you got a little paint right there a little crack right there but as far as the interior goes the condition of it and stuff i mean just whomever Either A, they didn't have children, or B, or oh, they had some really good children. Because <laughs> this, uh, you know, as you can see from the headliner and the seats, and it uh, wasn't too too much used as the uh, Griswold family truckster, as you might know if you're as old as me. Glass is all good, and all the way around. We had to replace a window regulator. Um, sometimes those were bad in this, so we had to do that. And You know, this one here, uh, this window, we just went ahead and replaced because the regulator went and they put a little crack in it when it did. So we just went and put a new one in there. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first turn this to the accessory position and you're going to see all the trouble lights light up like they should and then I'm going to start it and I'm going to be quiet now and see I have to do that because that doesn't work okay here we go That blinking light is the tire pressure monitor fault. And it says right there, tire pressure monitor system failure. Ninety-eight, one sixty-eight on the miles. I'm gonna hit setup and then it's gonna go through its system check. That's it. It all checked out according to this, except for the tire pressure monitor sensor.
and then you hit the auto AC here and um, it is cold y'all because it's over 100 degrees for I don't know how many been going on 15 20 days whatever so thank you for watching 972-478-7900 972-478-7900, 7995 plus tax title license. Thanks for watching.